Okay, well, this this is day one up here, uh, up in Shenandoah Mountains. And here's the old trailer here. I'm going to avoid getting my family on camera, so... Um, I'm going to go up. Got the old Jeep lifted. Yeah, Does really there. well. Hey, Over little girl. There. And we're all packed up, so as you can see, you can put all your stuff in here as we go. We actually go driving with the bunk beds installed and it does it's not showing any wear or any problems um, and then we hang up our towels so when we make the traverse they dry and we just leave these windows open right here I found that if you leave this window up here it wears the seal down and it can cause your sunroof to leak so we don't do that anymore uh, just right now I have the fan running just to air it out you know we've been sleeping in it all night so um, something that I really dug and I'm gonna slip right past my wife here is this is a very uneven campsite but these things really have the ability to as you can see level out very nicely so, and I just put that piece of wood there for safety just in case this gave out. But uh, yeah, I just put a piece of wood right there um, because my hose is a little bit short. And it evens out beautifully. Now, if something I installed on mine was a gauge to see how even it is. And you got your little joint right there. Then I also put one up front. You can get these at any RV store or Kmart or whatever. And I put one up front also. Right here. So when I make my final adjustments here, um, I'm good to go. So it's really easy to set up. So you just do the back, make that even, and then you come here and you crank this until it's even. And even on a surface like this, you are sleeping nice and level and everything is nice and comfortable. So... You can hear my daughter's wonderful singing. Mommy. That's it. Mommy. Say goodbye, Sierra. Sierra, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay, that's it. All right, see y'all later. All right, well, I've had lots of requests to show me breaking it down and showing how fast it can be. All right, so the first thing you want to do is turn off your fan, lock down your windows. And I'm doing this with an injured back. My back is killing me, so. Turns off automatically, locks into place, whammo, whammo. All right, then you're gonna close this. Whammo, whammo. You can come on over to here. Got, of course, your coffee and your water that I'm gonna take over here. Um, the cooler already placed inside there. Fold up your table. So, come up here, got that, ammo, ammo, there, fresh little tab, slide right it out, flip it over, this comes down, unplug it from your electrical station, back is hurt so I am truly sorry that I can't do this as fast as I normally do. Turn off your water. Unplug it. Of course you want to lock this up. I'll save the locking up for later. Now at this point all you do is you lower it and remove these I'm going to keep them down to a certain extent just so the thing doesn't go rolling away on me.
because these are what's going to stop your trailer from going off this cliff that's right behind me. Okay. As you can see, it's still nice and steady because these are still on the deck. Then I come on over here. I raise it up. And I've pre-measured it for my Jeep. It has to go this high. Voila. It ain't going nowhere. At that point, I just grab my Jeep, back it up, get as close as possible, and I have the ability just to pull it myself and uh, lower it back down onto your Jeep. And that's it. Camp is done. You drive off and you go to your next place. Simple as can be. That's about it.